Now I did find the obelisk out in Mars. You can find it by this building I'm facing. Just follow where I'm going on my sparrow and you'll find it. I didn't have any ability to access it or talk to it. I didn't have any quest leading to it. So I believe this is probably gonna open on another day, but this is the location if you ever get lost and want to find it once it does open up. Hey folks, Animana here. Now I've had some sleep after that 4 or 5 a.m. launch for me for the season of Dawn. Now I was wrong with this as Ozaris does give you more quests, however he doesn't give you a notification or a marker saying come back I've got some quests. So once you've completed that sundial completion for the first time and you go back to talk to him, get out of his menu and talk to him again and do this three times as you'll get two more quests and you'll also get another sundial obelisk to connect on Mars. This is a very similar process to the one we did on the Tangled Shore. Just kill hive enemies to get these salvage Braytech items. Once you get about 50 of those, you can then head back to the Obelix to bank them. For the next step where we go and grab orbs of light or generate some super energy, I actually went into the core terminus lost sector, which we tend to do quite often in Destiny when we're doing anything on Mars or regards to maybe weapon frames and stuff like that. I did one super with the middle tree Titan and I just ran through and I got the whole completion for this just from one super pop. You can see here it's just about to pop there just to confirm. So it was actually pretty fast, pretty quick, and now I'm ready to activate that obelisk. Once you bank your light, you can then talk to the obelisk and you can also go and see what it has to offer. Again, we're gonna be putting in this fractaline and you're gonna power it up. You're gonna get some weapons, you're gonna get some mods, and there's some daily bounties also, very similar to the one we saw on the Tangled Shore. Now, this one has a grenade launcher and a shotgun that you'll be able to get out of this one once it is linked, and then you'll be able to go and go back to the sundial and then get some more weapons as rewards from it. I also managed to get one of the time lost weapon frames completed. So once you get that, it's going to give you a random roll and you're instantly going to get that weapon in your inventory once you pop the bounty. The one I got has substance and it also has swashbuckle with ricochet rounds. I'm not too sure. I'm guessing it's pretty average as a roll because it doesn't have range or anything like that, but it was cool to get this anyway. Apologies for a little bit of confusion in the last video with the Mars Obelisk. I'm assuming the next two Obelisks that are going to be launching next week, they're going to be on EDZ and Nessus, are going to be a similar process. So just make sure that you're double checking with Osiris, to make sure he's giving you the right quests, and it should be all good for this. I'm Anamana, I hope you've been enjoying these videos. If you have, give a positive rating as it does help the channel. I'll catch you on the next video, have a good one, bye.